Welcome everyone to Grandview Cemetery, Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. This is the entrance to the cemetery. I'm going up to visit the grave site of a man who lived a very unique life here in western Pennsylvania. Hello everyone out here today to do another grave site visit. This is a grave of a very unique figure here in Beaver County, Pennsylvania, Western Pennsylvania. This is the grave site of Raymond T. Robinson, also known as Charlie No Face. Um, he lived a pretty normal life up until he was an eight year old boy roaming around the area one summer day. He and a group of kids were crossing the trolley line, the bridge that went over one of the creeks nearby. And he spotted a, one of the children spotted a bird's nest that was up in the bridge. Being the curious child that he was, he went to investigate, see what was inside, accidentally touched one of the lines and was nearly electrocuted. Um, he fell from the bridge and upon landing the horrific nature of his injuries were apparent immediately. Um, his eyes had basically melted away from the jolt of electricity. His nose was pretty much gone as well. And that moment changed his life forever. Um, he eventually healed from his injuries. Obviously he lost his eyes. His nose was melted away as well. But recovered as best as he could even though he was permanently blind. Not much is known in between then and when he became an adult, but when he became an adult he would take long walks along the road at night time. He wanted to stay out of public sight during the day. He would take long walks at night. Even though he was blind he would use his walking stick, go by the edge of the road and listen for cars coming. But he lived his life pretty much as good as anybody in his condition could. I mean, and at first glance, it seems like a really sad story, but I think it's a testament to Raymond's human resolve. I mean, he could have let this really get him down, but he just kept pushing through and persevering. I have a lot of respect for that. A lot of people wouldn't have handled his situation as well as he did. He used to take uh, nighttime walks along Route 351 nearby. And people would see him and over time he became kind of a local celebrity when he would uh, take his nighttime walks. People would stop and visit with him, offer him beer or cigarettes. And he was, didn't really like to stay very well known out in the open. Like I said, he still did his walks at night, but didn't mind people visiting him because I'm sure he was a pretty lonely fellow. Um, there, he also was known as the Green Man as well around these parts. After doing some research, I finally found that he, his skin would sometimes have a greenish tone around his nasal passages, which was basically like an open sore on his face after that injury. And he would get kind of a greenish tone to his skin around there if it would get infected. 
it's pretty much a lifelong battle he had with it being an opened sword like that. And that's why he became known as the Green Man as well. But I think it's a true testament to human perseverance that he lived a long life. If you look on here, he passed away June 11th, 1985 at the age of 74. Almost 66 years to the day that that accident occurred when he was 8 years old. Um, just over the hill here on this cemetery, just over that hill there is the river which is where the trolley lines were where his accident occurred back in 1919. This is still a very active cemetery. There's actually a burial occurring a burial occurring just down the way from here. But I figured I would come out here. I've never been here. This is my first time being here. Really fascinating story. Raymond T. Robinson, may you rest in peace, my friend. I really respect that you lived your life to the fullest. Thank you for watching, everyone.